The city has a warning for Albuquerque neighborhoods. They say scammers are pretending to be from neighborhood associations, all in an attempt to take your money. News 13's Chris McKee is here to explain. Chris? Yeah, Jessica, a handful of neighborhoods across the city have been targeted with scammers sending out bogus emails trying to get thousands of dollars from residents. I'm surprised anyone would try that with a neighborhood association at all. What Taylor Ranch neighbor Terry Spiak got in her email is a reminder. It is an eye opener. There's always a new online scam to watch out for. She's president of the Taylor Ranch Neighborhood Association, and recently someone pretended to be her online. Right. Using Terry's Neighborhood Association email, they tried to scam thousands from the association. Writing the association's treasurer this fake message. I need you to take care of a payment to a vendor for me. I will provide you with the vendor's information you need in making the payment. I will appreciate swift response. No, I did not write that. The spoofed message tried to get the association treasurer to send $2,000 to a random address in Utah. That amount of dollars we would never spend in one expense. The neighborhood association, which pays for some local events and land use issues, caught the scam before they lost money. It would have limited our ability to do other things in the neighborhood. But the city says at least three other neighborhoods have been targeted. They believe scammers are taking personal information of association officials that's listed on their neighborhood websites. Then they're using that information to try to trick people into paying for bogus fees. Terry says it's a reminder to check who's emailing you. We were really surprised, and especially because the email was actually very personal. Now, the Taylor Ranch neighborhood also says some neighbors recently got a bogus letter claiming to be from a supposed new homeowners association. They're warning residents to watch out for that as well. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. So far, there's been no reports of anyone actually paying any money. We did reach out to APD about these scams, they did not get back to us.